All right, we're here on the No Holds Bar Show, Sirius Satellite Radio, Sports Byline USA with Mike Whitehead. Mike, man, you must be excited to be a part of this uh, event, Affliction Band. I mean, just the names on this card, you got to be yeah. excited just to be on it, man. Totally, totally. I'm, I'm so excited. You know, finally to get back to a fight like this. It's been three years for me to get back to a fight, you know, high caliber fight like this, high caliber opponent, I'm, and I'm ready. I'm, you know, I'm not going to let this opportunity pass me up. Now, before, during the press conference, you said you were through the trenches, man. I mean, describe to us a little bit where you came from, obviously, the Ultimate Fighter Series, man, into the IFL, and to make it on what's expected to be maybe one of the biggest pay-per-view cards in MMA history. I mean, so it's a long long story, man. Long time coming. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Long story, long, you know, long time uh, down there in the trenches, just fighting small shows, you know, fighting, lost in the, in, in the UFC, started fighting small shows, like some, some shows people will never even hear about, you know, I'd fighting on uh, Indian reservations, fighting, you know, just backwoods places and getting my wins up and getting my confidence back and, you know, really uh, rebuilding my career. And, and, and now that I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's all for a reason and, I, and, and it all built up to this right now and, and uh, definitely, like I said, not going to let this, this uh, opportunity pass me up. When things were down, man, did you think of throwing in the towel with mixed martial arts, man, and getting a nine to five? Yeah, you know what? I, I'll be honest. Yeah, I did. You know, it was it was tough. You know, because like it was uh, a, a situation where I had to have like one and sometimes two jobs just to support my 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 dream to become a fighter. And and uh, you know, it was like you know, I got to the point sometimes where it was like really, you know, really is this worth it? You know, like you know, I'm I'm barely making ends meet. Sometimes not making ends meet, borrowing money. You know. Not doing, not doing a very good job the, at this fighting deal, and and uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, yeah, I thought about get, like throwing in the towel. Obviously, things are looking better. You got a nice new Affliction wardrobe, man. I'm sure you're getting paid pretty decent for this. Uh, what do you expect out of your opponent, man? A well-known fighter in mixed martial arts himself, obviously from the UFC. I mean, how do you think the fight's going to dictate? You know, I expect I expect him to come out and uh, come hard, and then you know want to want to get me down and want to want to submit me. You know, that's what he does. It's, that's his game, that's his forte, and and uh, you know I'm going to do my best to to offset that as much as possible. Cool, man. Pedro. It's all right, Pedro. After you, brother. Let's do an interview here, Pedro. I, I don't want to, you know, rough Pedro up, man, if he cuts in front of us. But uh, yeah, you got your hands full with Babalu, bro. So listen, you obviously have a great wrestling background. I mean, do you fear going to the ground with Babalu, or you want to try to keep it standing up? No, man, I don't fear going to the ground at all. I mean, I, you know, I've trained with some of the best guys in, in grappling. You know, I got Robert Drysdale in, in, in L.A. now. Um, Jock Ray was there for a while. I learned a lot from him. Uh, I got some good jiu-jitsu coaches back home, uh, you know, Ricardo Cavacante. Uh, all the guys from uh, from his school, you know, I train with all those guys. I, my ground is is not bad, you know. I bet even before I knew anything about jujitsu, I went to the Abu Dhabi, you know, and so I mean I've seen the, like the high scale grappling guys, you know, and 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 uh, you know I I'm a firm believer that you know you train with with whoever that you're fighting with, try and find somebody that's a little bit tougher than them, and then you train with them, you know. I think I think Robert Drysdale's be a better a better grappler than Bob Lou, so I train with him as far as grappling goes. Jacques Ray, man, one of the best grapplers out there right now. Exactly. I mean, Jacques Ray and 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 Drysdale. You know, you watching those two go at it. You're just like you sit back and you're just you're amazed. It's just like you're, some of the things they pull on each other is just crazy. So. Now listen, you just came from the IFL, obviously not too long ago, man. They're in some deep, you know, waters, man, trouble, man. They don't look like they're going to make it past uh, July, and I'll be winning a six-pack from my co-host when they do fold up. What are your thoughts on Affliction? Obviously paying top dollar, man. I mean, they are a well-known clothing company, but they've only been around since 2005. They're not really long-time established. You feel like this might be like a one-and-done one, one and done deal? Like, you know, Bulldog Event had Calvin Air back in them, and they folded up recently too, man. Are you concerned that maybe Affliction might not be in it for the long haul? I, I, I don't think so. I, I you know the way that they're running things this this time and the way that this that this event's going to sell out and be on pay per view. I, I don't think so at all. I think it's going to be you know the even before they announced this fight, there was a huge buzz. You know, and, and for something like that to happen, I mean the the, the Bodog guys and and all the other all the other shows that tried to have huge huge fights like this that that didn't happen until after they they released. Who was fighting on the show? This is this this happened even before even before it was released. Who was fighting on the show? Is huge buzz. So I mean, for that to happen, I don't think so. I think these guys are are here to stay, and I'm happy. I'm happy to be a part of, the, of their first of their first one, and so it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun.
you got any contractual obligations with uh, Affliction or any other organization, or is it just like a one fight deal for you and see how it pans out? It's a three fight deal. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm, I'm gonna stay with these guys for a while. So yeah. So your wardrobe must be building up pretty good, man. Oh yeah, awesome. It's nice. Cool, Mike. Yo, thank you for your time, man. Big fan, bro, and all the best, man. Yep. Appreciate it.